Hi, welcome to your Eagle HT by Jayco. We're going to give you a quick orientation of your new trailer. Congratulations on your new purchase. We're going to start at the front with the fifth wheel hitch. Important to note here is the breakaway. This will engage your trailer brakes if you become separated from your vehicle. We also have a light to help with loading. Under here we have a nice large storage compartment as well as your battery storage. Here you also find a pre-wired port for a solar panel if you choose to get one. And we have the switch to control the raising and lowering of your front stabilizing jacks. Coming over to this compartment, we'll notice the propane storage. Important to note here is the crossover valve. This crossover valve will switch from one tank to the other when the one tank becomes empty. So, right now it's selecting from this tank. If this tank were empty, it would automatically switch over to this tank without you having to manually switch this. Next, we have this side access to your uh, holding tank or to your storage compartment. In this compartment, we have a battery disconnect. We have your sewer hookup, your park adapter, your park cable, and your spray port. We have your docking station. There's a neat kickstand here to hold this cover up. And you'll see by this diagram, in this position, it will fill your freshwater tank. In this position, if you're going to be hooked up to city water, you put it like this. We have an outside access to switch for your fresh water pump. We have a light. We also have cable or satellite hookups here. As well, you can use this quick connect spray hose in this location. Continue on the front of your new trailer. You will notice there's access to the storage compartment from this side. And there's also a hookup for a uh, output for your cable or satellite, as well as a switch on this side to give you some lighting. Here you'll notice the under stair lights, which would be handy at nighttime. You also notice that we have speakers that will be underneath your awning. We have another spray port here that you can hook the other uh, spray hose up to. As well as we have the outside access to your hot water tank. Important to note here, your drain plug, pressure release valve, We also have two GFCI outdoor receptacles. Here is important to note, this is the venting for your refrigerator. It draws cool air through here, so it's important that you do not block this cover. Next, we will come to your outdoor kitchen. We have some nice LED lighting and some brighter lights for the cook space. Here we have your nice gas gas range or grill. You have your drip tray. This should be removed when you travel. And here is a quick connect. And through here 
and then into this propane port on this end quick connect as well it's important to make sure you note the valve this is the on and off position if you're having problems lighting make sure this is in the on position while we're down here you'll note the state rear stabilizing jacks there's two of them they're manual there is a crank for them that is located in the front storage compartment you'll also notice there's room for a TV here with cable hookup and receptacle and your outdoor refrigerator there's also a handy bottle opener on the front Moving around to the back, you'll notice the ladder that give you access to the roof. And you'll also notice the rear camera that can help reverse as well. If you purchase the optional in-car unit, you can see what's behind you while you're driving inside the vehicle. That's handy if you utilize the rear uh, hitch to uh, use bikes or anything like that. You can look through your handheld unit in the vehicle to make sure that they are okay. So we're gonna continue around the outside, making sure I haven't missed anything for you. Of note here, your 50 amp power supply. This is what you hook up to campground power. And I think that's it for the outside. Let's take a look inside and see what kind of features await for you inside your new trailer. Immediately inside the door, you'll note a couple important safety -ish devices. We have a fire extinguisher, and we have a carbon monoxide and a propane detection. Every once in a while, it's, a, it's good to press this button here to make sure it's still functioning properly. Here we have the power center. All your breakers and fuses for the unit, as well as the thermostat. You can press this button here and cycle through your options for hot, cold, and fan, as well as raise and lower the temperature here. So we're going to continue into the bedroom. You'll notice that this unit here does not have a mattress, uh, as it was requested uh, by the customer to supply their own. Here we have the under bed storage. We have night lights that operate from a button here on each one, as well as wall mount for a TV as well as the cable or antenna hookup. Moving on into the bathroom, which will you will note, you can close from both directions. In here, we have your GFCI plug, all your switches for light, light, and light behind the cabinet. You also note, you have a medicine cabinet here. So moving on to the living room of the trailer, when we first step down, you'll see we have a dimmer switch. If you just tap it, it'll turn the lights on and off. If you tap and hold, it will dim or brighten. Here we have a neat little feature. Press the on button. Right now the password is four zeros and you can control your slides press and hold you'll note that the slide starts to come in now normally I would say let the slide come all the way in or out uh, especially important on the bedroom slide but that is a neat little feature you can put your awning out you can also control the lighting for the trailer.
Here is the power set or the control center for the trailer. We'll have your two gray water indicators, black water, your fresh water, and your battery indicator. We also have exterior light for the awning. Uh, we have the two slide controls as well as the awning control. Here we have your gas hot water heater and your electric water heater control as well as another switch for your fresh water pump. Important to note as well, we have your smoke detector right here, the button in the center. It's a good idea to press every once in a while just to make sure the battery is still good and it's functioning properly. Your dining table lights have a dimmer here that functions the same as the one I showed you previously. Also of note here, we have a nice pull-out extension for the dining room table. There's actually two spare chairs for this table underneath the bed in the bedroom. We have a range top and stove. Your range top lights, put in the light position, turn the automatic sparker, same for the oven, turn to light, press and hold, and turn the light. We have a nice feature light there, as well as USB connectivity under here. Now one thing I want to make sure you can see is access to the hot water tank is underneath the cabinet and there's a little lever here and there's one on the other side it's pushed in the opposite direction you push it down and then you can slide the drawer out and the the valves for the hot water tank are underneath here you switch them open and close to switch between bypassing the hot water tank um, or using the hot water tank and filling it. Of note here, we have the fridge on and off, as well as the gas or electric button to switch between the two. If in gas mode, right now I have the gas turned off, so it should, when it tries to light, end up coming with a check light coming on. That will indicate to you that something is not working properly with the fridge. Moving on to your TV and your stereo. Your stereo has DVD capabilities as well as Bluetooth. You have HDMI, headphones, and auxiliary and USB inputs. We also have multi zones zone 1, 2, and 3. Zone 1 plays more directly from here. Zone 2 plays the rest of the trailer in the living room here. And zone 3 works the under cabinet lighting or sorry my my mistake they works the uh, outside speakers underneath your awning we have your fireplace you can change flame settings we also have lighting receptacle under here of note is the emergency exit. We flip those up and push the window out to safety and you can escape the safety. We also have another switch and lights here. This couch folds out to additional sleeping arrangements. Handy if you have company. And here we have a small cabinet to hang some coats or whatever you wish. I hope you enjoy your new unit for many years to come. And I hope you enjoyed our little tour 
I'm sure there are many other things that you will discover and find out about your new trailer that you absolutely love. Thank you very much and enjoy.